Andy, kind of looking back to Saturday, um, you know, what kind of stood out to you about about your defense? Uh, you know what? I think the coaches starting off did a really good job preparing those guys, and uh, um, you know, obviously we got to tip our hat to them and, and getting those guys to play fast and confident, fly around out there, play with great effort. You know, that's that's the one thing with how many guys we got out there on the field and how many guys got to play and stuff. And, you know how they how they executed and stuff like that. So I, I tip my hat to our coaches and them being able to get, you know, all those guys ready, feeling confident. How important was it for you to play so many people? You know, um, we're, we're constantly talking about building depth. You know, and so any opportunities we can to get guys on the field or guys create roles for themselves by the job they're doing, by the way they're preparing, by the way they're practicing, by the way they're playing on special teams, you know. We want to try to uh, create roles for guys and get guys out there. We, I mean, this, it's a long season and it's a, it's a physical game, so we gotta, we got to get as many guys ready to play as we can. Washington State, obviously, uh, you know, a test for any defense. Uh, what's, how much of a challenge is it going to be for you guys this week? Yeah, I mean, obviously, year in and year out, in Washington State's offense is one of the best offenses in the nation. Um, the production wise, very high. Uh, quarterback's a really good player. Skill players are really good. Shooting. I know they don't run the ball probably as much as some others, but uh, their running backs are, are pretty dang good. They're good sized backs and run hard. And so obviously they present a lot of challenges. And, uh, you know, as, as most weeks, it still comes down to us executing our fundamentals and our techniques. I was going to say, I mean, obviously there's probably a lot of challenges, but what is maybe the most difficult thing about that offense? I mean, he's run that for years, and for years it's always been one of the best. Yeah, and, and they know it in and out. The quarterback knows it in and out. He's really good. I mean, the quarterback makes great decisions, and um, he, he obviously has a good arm and, and is very uh, accurate with his passes. And so him being able to read a, a defense and, and know the system and be able to get the ball where it uh, needs to be to, and to their uh, – to their wide receivers who are very productive, um, you know, that's that's the biggest challenge. What's the toughest challenge in this one? You know, just once again, we don't want to we don't want to give up explosive plays. Like any any game, we don't want to give up explosive plays, but you want to make the offense work for you. You know, and, and we wanna we wanna be able to uh, you know, as as we talked about last week, it all starts with communication and eye control. And those two things right there. Uh, especially it's going to be loud in the stadium and, and we got to be able to handle those and uh, um, we've got to do a, a good job of making tackles in the open field because there's going to be a lot of space. Look at the, uh, the, the air raid offense. I mean, it just, and, and how is it unique? Because I know it's a, a pass heavy offense, but uh, the way Washington State kind of runs it, it's, it's mostly kind of like within 20 yards almost, but they mm -hmm. kind of make you defend you know, every yard inside that 20 yards. They they turn it into a very big field. I get exactly what you're saying, and I think that's why within within that, you know, you you've got to be able to tackle in the open space. You you've got to be able to, uh, you know, in the certain situations, if it is a zone coverage, you got to be able to handle your keys. You know, and um, and obviously uh, adhere to your responsibilities. And and I think you're 100 percent right. They turn. They turn that that field. It seems a lot bigger the way, you know, they space themselves out and in all the zones that you got to cover. Joe had obviously worked really hard to, to get back to, to see him go down there. How disappointing, I guess, was that for the feel for him and, and don't know his status. But to have a guy like Darren that can step in there and it, it, you know, it, it seemed like he he really kept the thing rolling. Yeah, no question. I mean, obviously, you never want to see one of your guys, anybody on this team, you know, go down. And, but Joe will be fine. Um, Joe will be fine. I got full confidence in him, and uh, you know he's a he's a hard work and all that stuff. And um, but D Lee to be able to step in there and those guys share reps. They work together. They get each other prepared. Um, so D Lee jumping in there and taking the bulk of the reps and getting some other guys mixed in there. Obviously stepping up. Ben Weaver went over there and played some some reps too at that position, which was awesome to see because he hasn't done a ton of that. Um, so. We, we talk about it all the time. You might you might be the third string guy, whatever string you might be. Let's be ready to play like we're the first string every week. I know we saw Tyson get in there some too. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you guys played seven true freshmen on defense. The last two years you guys played six combined for the whole team. And what what is it about this group, particularly on defense, that I know you have some depth issues at certain places, but obviously you wouldn't play these guys if they weren't ready. Yeah, no question. I think it speaks volumes to the recruiting class. Um, 
And then obviously given situations, even if it was a you know great recruiting class, whatever the case, I mean, we're trying to build depth and there's got to be a need at a certain position for these guys to play. And so um, we're excited about them. And, and obviously us being able to get them some game time experience early on in the season is the best thing for them now. Um, there still is a gap, obviously, between those guys and, and the veterans, the older players. Week by week, you know, not only for the young guys, but the veterans, for everybody, for us as coaches, we just got to keep getting better and better. Um, and, and that's really all we're asking of those guys. Did Tyson play as a result of, of Joe going down? Uh, we, we've had Tyson with us. Um, he wasn't on scout team, so, I mean, Tyson was kind of always in the mix there, yeah. Coach, did you play in the 2001 game against Washington State? Yes. What, what do you remember about that game? Oh, they scored a lot of points. They scored a lot of points. Um, we were talking about it the other day. I mean, shoot, they uh, they came down here and they obviously they did a phenomenal job and uh, um, it was it was a blowout. Yeah. If, if things are going or however the game goes on Saturday, I mean, do you remember instances of your playing career and want to correct them as a coach, perhaps against an opponent? Uh, nah, I mean, you you want to try to be on the winning side obviously <laughs> more than not but hey at this point that's so far behind I mean once again back then they're a very good offense now they're a very good offense I mean you, you, you can you see and know what Washington State is capable on offense so it's we got a big challenge ahead of us you know and um, the one thing once again going back to what we talked about earlier there are a lot of explosive plays for that offense in that game and so that's something that we obviously got to do a better job with this time. Outside of the, the outcome of that game, I mean, is it? I know you, you and Gabe started that game, you and Gabe Franklin. So, I mean, is it kind of interesting that you reminisce at all, or is that the first time you thought about it this week? Uh, no, it got brought to our attention, but we really don't like to talk about that one very much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were both young guys. You know, we're sitting here talking about the young guys we're, that are playing for us right now. Um, um, I mean, we or no, honestly, we, we tip our hat. We tip our hats because that's one of the, you know, probably the worst losses on the blue for, Bo for Boise State there in terms of the, the points and the way it went down. I mean, they're a very good team, so, but it's been a while. I mean, we're, we're focused on what's going on right now. Boise's obviously had tremendous success on the blue, and with you being a former player, can you speak to how much more it probably means to you than others about getting wins here and to why you think it's so hard for teams to come in here and lead with victories? Well, I think, uh, one, it's a unique setting. I think it, it truly is. You know, it, it has been and, and, you know, it will continue to be one of the best uh, college football settings there is. Our fan base here is awesome, and, and we really feel, especially like on defense, um, you know, we have an advantage because of the noise. And um, for us and for our players, that's exciting, whether you're on offense or defense, to be able to play in an atmosphere in your own home stadium you know, the way uh, Bronco Stadium is, is capable of being, you know, and uh, um, that's really something we look forward to as a team. We talk about it all year long. We put a lot of hard work in, you know, to play maybe six games a year right here in this stadium. So, you know, when we get those opportunities, we love it. The fans show up and they're extra loud and, um, you know, it's just fun. It, it makes all the hard work uh, worthwhile. How do you think uh, Evan uh, and uh, Cam did back there. I mean, you know, those guys both making their first starts. You right. know, it's Evan's first game. How do you think those two did? Now they made awesome. both back. They did an awesome job. I mean, for the their first time starting games, and uh, you know, is it always perfect? No, it's, it's not. Is there things we need to clean up? Yes, of course there is. But for the things we asked those guys as well as everybody else to do, they did a, a great job. We were so excited for those guys because. I mean, hey, the first game, let's just be honest, it's a little nerve-wracking. You know, for anybody that's played sports here, the first game and, you know, you move up a level, uh, junior high to high school, whatever the case, it doesn't matter. It's the first game at a new level. It's faster. Um, obviously, the expectation is higher. And for those guys that go out there and play with confidence the way they did, speaks to how uh, Coach Franklin got them ready and what he's been doing with those guys. 